Yo, what's up guys, Dark Orbit here, bringing you an in-depth Overrun breakdown, the new game mode only available to Gears War Judgment. Overrun is a class-based attack and defend kind of system, uh, where if you're the cog, you're defending generators that the locusts have to attack and destroy. So today we're going to be talking about the cog team. You can either choose from a scout, medic, soldier, or an engineer. So let's get straight into this guys. This is the scout. He starts off with a Markska, I hope I pronounced that right, uh, a recon grenade uh, and a pistol. His special ability as you can see is to be able to climb into high perches but the downside is to this, as you saw then, wretches can climb up into these perches. They're the only locust character that can do this but I'll go into that in my next episode. He is a very strong character. Um, except for the fact that he runs out of ammo very quickly. Like a lot of the other classes, they complement each other. For instance, when given maximum time on an ammo crate, he is actually able to hold 90 rounds of Marska. In addition to this, he carries a recon grenade that shows off enemies' positions through cover or behind cover. Also, it gives your team a damage boost for anyone highlighted in that area that is very helpful in later rounds against bigger enemies that are much harder to take down without being in this radius. So the way I recommend using this character is to stay back, don't rush into your battles, and just pick your enemies off at will with lots of ammo. Also, your recon grenade is the second fastest replenishing item on the COG team, so make sure to keep chucking them out there at choke points to give your teammates the best intel as possible. Look at that headshot. <laughs> Very strong against low level characters. Anyway guys, this covers my spotter and if I've missed anything out please leave a comment. Let's get into the next character, the medic. The medic is essential to having a good round on overrun. She's one of the strongest characters. She has steam gas grenades that are actually the fastest replenishing item on your team. They're basically give you max health as soon as they come in contact or you stay in their radius. She also has a sawn off that is very strong against big enemies, actually incredibly strong, and a lancer just for backup. So I tend to use the lancer until I get to the big enemies or things like that. As you can see, look how quickly that replenished itself, got a stim gas. You can also throw it at teammates and they instantly get revived and there's two medics at the moment on my team doing that. This basically means you're invincible. As soon as you walk into that stim gas, you can't actually die unless you're blown up by a big explosion or shredded by a shotgun. You can't get lancered down. And if you do get lancered down by a big enemy, you'll get revived straight away. So this character is immensely strong, guys. I didn't think she would be. But as you can see, she only starts off with two sort of off slots. And as soon as I can, I try and replenish some ammo by using Coltrane's ability. So that really covers the medic, one of the strongest characters and the most helpful, even though you wouldn't think it. And let's get into the third class, the good old Coltrane baby. Woo! Coltrane is the soldier class. He starts off with the brand new Bushka that is like a boom shot that bounces and has timed explosions. So it's very good for bouncing it behind corners. He also has a Lancer as standard and he is able to throw ammunition. Like I said earlier on in this video, he helps out the spotter very well and the medic. In addition to this, Coltrane has the most amount of health on the COG team, so don't be afraid to get in there and throw those Bushkas bouncing around. He is also able to replenish himself with ammo, but is much quicker to replenish it off a teammate's soldier class. So I highly recommend using Coltrane if no one else is on your team using him. He's very fun to use, as you can see you've always got ammo and at high explosive rounds with your Bushka. So he's very fun and it never gets stale using him. So let's get into the last character, it's Baird, the engineer, last but not least, one of the strongest characters in the game. Baird is one of the most essential characters in this game mode. If none of your teammates are playing as Baird, you better put him on, because you won't get very far otherwise. He's able to put out sentry guns that actually take forever. They are the slowest replenishing. They only last for 8 seconds, but they are devastating, as you'll see. One of my tactics is to push them, and my sentry turret puts damage on them because the range is so good. All you have to do is go near them. As soon as they back out of cover, they're getting attacked by your sentry gun. 
In addition to this, he is equipped with a repair tool, and he is the only character that can repair fortifications on the map. Fortifications, once they are destroyed, they cannot be rebuilt, so this is essential to teamwork, getting a couple of engineers repairing and putting up sentry guns to basically back up your teammates while they give you ammo and health and spot the enemy team for more damage. It is always recommended to have a good mixture of class, but engineer, if no one's playing engineer on your team, you're not going to last very long. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed my in-depth, and I really hope a couple of little tips have helped you. Uh, if you feel free to check out my next episode that will be coming up soon, covering the Locust team, that'd be really cool. And once again, this has been Dark Orbit, and peace out.